The actor Stephen Hawking is best known for his cameo appearances in Futurama and Star Trek. But you might be surprised to learn that he's also a theoretical astrophysicist. Is there anything this guy can't do? One of the most fascinating theories he came up with is that black holes, the universe's Swiffer, can actually evaporate over vast periods of time. Quantum theory suggests there are virtual particles popping in and out of existence all the time. When this happens, a particle and its antiparticle appear, and then they recombine and disappear again. And now, when this takes place near an event horizon, strange things can happen. Instead of the two particles existing for a moment and then annihilating one another, one particle can fall into the black hole, and the other particle can fly off into space. Over vast periods of time, the theory says that this trickle of escaping particles, Hawking radiation, causes the black holes to evaporate. But wait, if these virtual particles are falling into the black hole, shouldn't that make it grow more massive? How does that cause it to evaporate? If I add pebbles to a rock pile, doesn't my rock pile just get bigger? It all comes down to perspective. From an outside observer watching the black hole's event horizon, it appears as if there's a glow of radiation coming from the black hole. And if that was all that was happening, it would violate the law of thermodynamics, as energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Since the black hole is now emitting energy, it needs to have given up a bit of its mass to provide it. Let's try another way to think about this. A black hole has a temperature. The more massive it is, the lower its temperature, although it's still not zero. From now until far off into the future, the temperature of the largest black holes will be colder than the background temperature of the universe itself. Light from the cosmic microwave background radiation will fall in, increasing its mass. Now, fast forward to when the background temperature of the universe drops below even the coolest black holes. Then they'll slowly radiate heat away, which must come from the black hole converting its mass into energy. The rate that this happens depends on the mass. For stellar mass black holes, it might take 10 to the power of 67 years to evaporate completely. For the big daddy supermassive black holes at the cores of galaxies, you're looking at 10 to the power of 100. That's a 1 followed by 100 zero years. That's a huge number. But just like any gigantic and finite number, it's still less than infinity. So over an incomprehensible amount of time, even the longest living objects in the universe, our mighty black holes, will fade away into energy. One last thing. The Large Hadron Collider might be capable of generating microscopic black holes, which would last for a fraction of a second and disappear in a burst of Hawking radiation. If they find them, then Hawking might want to put the acting on hold and focus on physics. Nothing is eternal, not even black holes. Over the longest time frames, we're pretty sure they'll evaporate away into nothing. The only way to find out is to sit back and watch. Well, I maybe mean, it's not the only way. Does the idea of these celestial nightmares evaporating fill you with existential sadness? Feel free to share your thoughts with others in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen, and we'd like to thank Dana Nuri and the rest of the members who support us in making great space and astronomy content. Members get advanced access to episodes, extras, contests, and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. Want to get on the action? Click here. Is there anything that can't, guy can't, oh, uh. screw it all up.